Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the NJAR function in R. So I'm going to show you two examples and in the first example I'm going to use this example data. So if you run this line of code, you can see that at the top right of your R studio the value x occurs. And uh, we can also have a look at this data. And as you can see here at the bottom, our example data just contains a single character string. So now if we want to know how many characters are contained in this string, then we can apply the ntra function as you can see here in line seven. And if you run this line, you can see that the RStudio console returns the value 12. And that actually means that our example data, our example character string contains of 12 characters. Okay, so let's move on to the second example. And in the second example, I'm going to use this example data here. So if you run these two lines of code, you can see that here at the top right, the data object x back um, appears. And uh, again, we can have a look at the data and you can see this time our example data consists of four different character strings. And uh, now we can also apply the ntra function to this character vector. And as you can see, the ntra function then returns a vector of numeric values. And each of the elements of this vector is showing you how many characters the corresponding character string contains. So uh, this first character string here contains 13 um, characters. The second character string contains five characters and so on. Yeah, so this is basically how the ntra function can be applied. However, if you want to learn more about the ntra function, you could also have a look at my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial on the ntra function and in the tutorial, I'm also showing more complex data situations and also data settings where there might uh, occur problems with the ntra function. Yeah, so if you have liked the video, I would be happy if you leave me a comment and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more R tutorials in future. Thanks a lot. See you next time.